Let's get in touch and get involved on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and it... well, there he is, the main man, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ten Serie A goals. He's the joint... always writes the headlines, doesn't he, in all of the big games that he's ever played in. Mauro Cardi, a different player. The Serie A anthem, O Generosa. Super. Can he deliver? Peter. Two great rivals, one massive match. The Derby d'Italia. Ronaldo. Dybala's headers over the crossbar. First sighter for Juve. Gives Ronaldo a look because it was a fantastic ball in. Just makes his run from deep, Paolo Dybala. Good trickery from Ronaldo. And he sees Dybala arriving on the penalty spot. He should do a little bit better. All right, it's not his forte, but keep that one down. On the slide, all given away to Dybala. Andanovic may have got a touch, it's a Juve corner. Yeah, he did, just flicked it over the bar. It's a lovely little back heel. And all of a sudden... Takes on the effort. And Chesney uh, makes a comfortable save. Yeah, it is a feature of his game for Salako. He gets the ball out on that right-hand side. He was trying to cross this to the far post, just took a deflection of Pjanic. There is Perisic in a lovely position. And for a moment then, I thought Icardi was going to score, but who else but Giorgio Chiellini got back in time. Amazing defending. It was a lovely take from Perisic. On that. It's been run out by Perisic, one of the best, and it loops up. And Chesney, just for a moment, might have been a little concerned. I don't think I'll see a more hard-working player than Ivan Perisic. It's out Icardi. They've worked this brilliantly. Galliardini! So, so unlucky. Sensational move. Deserved the goal. Great work from Politano. Goal himself. This is Galliardini's chance. Oh, it's so, so close. Now it's Chesney beaten. And he thinks he's... Shake it. Oh, lovely ball. And then Perisic drags it wide. What a chance again. Well, one or two interplayers are appealing for a penalty. I couldn't see it in real time. He's got loads of options. And he almost picked out Mandzukic. He's very, very close, but it was clever defending from Miranda. He just stayed touch tight, didn't allow Mandzukic just to get in behind him. A wonderful ball in. It's my shirts. Four of them inside the box. Towards Mandzukic. First save for Sami Handanovic. For him, that's half a chance, but not an easy one. And Yelly watches on. Good ball in the box. Pull back is good. Ben Tancor's effort. Who else but Brozovic gets in the way? Oh, he's having the game of his life. Brozovic puts his body on the line here. Looked like a tap in. Ben Tancor fancied it in front of goal, just trying to open that right leg. Dybala. Chiellini knots oh. it on. Great save. Big moments now. This is Chiellini's chance. Big moments in the game, just approaching half time. Swing in another free header for Chiellini again. Another chance. How is this game still 0 0? Well, I'm not sure who is marking. I'm not sure if we're screening at all. Icardi. It shouldn't be Icardi. It's a mismatch. It's Benucci this time. The other centre back. And he heads it over the crossbar. Problem that Inter need to fix whether they are marking zonal chance to go and attack it. Is Politano. Chesney gets some that from the corner. Every single Juve player had a man to mark apart from Manzukic, who was just in there just to go and attack the ball. It's the first of a, another thrilling week here on 11 Sport. Ronaldo and Co. Kept him quiet. Watching him, so you give him one chance, he'll put it away. Season behind Juventus. Certainly both teams have. Second half is underway. Tweed is under all sorts of pressure. Here's Icardi, Politano! Pjanic played a dangerous ball into Matuidi. From then on, they work it quite well. The right foot. He's picked out Matuidi brilliantly, though. Mandzukic, all tonight. 
Lovely skill here from Blaise Matuidi. He's just looking for options inside the six-yard box. Matichilio would have been a, a reg. Here's Ronaldo, left foot. Whistles over the crossbar. Doesn't need a second invitation. Cristiano Ronaldo, even on his weaker left foot, not afraid to hit them from distance, but Inter again, causing them so. Vesalico, Perisic's head up. Well wide, but half a chance. Just got half a yard there, Perisic. Not an easy one when you know Bonucci's coming in. The ball, João Cancelo. Oh. Looking towards Bentancourt. Samoa, you felt, took a bit of a risk. He must have got a call from Handanovic. Bentancourt makes a more aggressive run, a little diagonal run inside Asamoa. He might just get a chance. Three to aim for in the box. Chance. He might have picked out Mandzukic! First blood Juventus in the Derby d'Italia. And it's Mario Mandzukic who puts them ahead. Every single week, Chris, we sit here and watch Juve and you say, keep an eye on Mandzukic, never, ever does he ever run to the near post. Always finds the weak link, he pulls away to the far post, this time it's Inter's left-back, Asamoah. Great ball into the box, he's too strong, and from two yards, Mandzukic has never been... The chances... Dini had a big one in the first 45 minutes. Simply so. compared to the riches on offer if Inter can get back into the Champions League. <laughs> Last week, Paolo Dybala, only a substitute tonight. Mario Mandzukic gets the start. Against Juve, scored seven goals in his ten Serie A games against them. All that. Inter will not be able to resist. The question is, Tony Dorigo, oh, dinked ball from him. Oh, and a goal for Juve. Douglas Costa, whose influence on this Juve team has been growing and growing in 2018, has just scored a very big goal for them. And once again, Tony, Inter just switched off. Well, the right back area and the back post is absolutely shocking. You're right, the ball is... Fed out yet again. Once again. Much. Oh, is he in trouble here? I think this is going to be a red card, isn't it? Inter in big trouble. They're down to ten. Matias Vecino has to go for his challenge. Okay. On Good delivery. And an equaliser. And of course it's Icardi. He always scores against Juventus, and he's done it again. The ten men are level, and the Napoli fans will be celebrating just as loudly as the Inter ones are here. It's a set piece again. Perisic tricks his way into the box, and it's in the back of the net. An own goal gives the ten men of Inter the lead. It's all unravelling for Juventus. How have they managed to turn a 1-0 lead against 10 men into a 2-1 deficit? Only they will know. Bazzali scoring the own goal and into lead 2-1. Brilliant players then from Perisic. Luis Quadrado all ends up. Bazzali. through. Quadrado is there for Juventus. Deflection, it's in. 2-2. An element of good fortune about the goal. Juve back on terms and still with time to win it yet. The story of this year's title race has just taken another twist. What a scudetto we are watching this season. Well, Santon has come on and he just has... Pass Juventus to win this. And they have won it! Higuain with the goal, 30 seconds to go. And Juventus lead 3-2, having put their fans through the ringer tonight. Max Allegri's side somehow are heading for victory. Gigi Buffon instead, he's trying to go near post. Riccardi absolutely desolate. 
But Juventus have responded with the win. They socialist three points. And with three games...